Mexico and I attend Korean Charter Show School. Today I would like to talk about the spirit of India, which was inscribed in the UNESCO Intangible Culture Heritage List. Through the opera Henya, which was premiered in 2019. At the Jeju Henya Museum, there is a phrase that reads, Burn in the afterlife to spend in this life. This phrase encapsulates the essence of the Henya's life. To Henya, the waters of Jeju are not a beautiful world, but a dark world akin to death. They must overcome the fear to work in this harsh environment. The Sea of Jeju is a place that threatens their lives, but also a livelihood they must convert to support their families. This is the life of Jeju Henya. Now, I will briefly explain the story of the opera Henya, which was in the village of Pangdari in the eastern side of Jeju. There lived a Henya named Meiju. Her husband, a fisherman, lost his life at sea during a storm. Meiju was pregnant, but she had to raise her baby. Um, comes up alone. Therefore, she helped the sailors with their work. However, being pregnant meant she couldn't die, leading to a significant lack of income, which constantly troubled her. Eventually, despite the opposition from the chief, Henyo, Ninja, Ian, and friend Jiangsu, Niju decided to go diving. Jiangsu had an erased pen with stones, instructing her to use it while diving. Unfortunately, the bell got caught in the coral, and Niju lost her life. Time passed and her son Hyunsa returned to the shores of Pyongdari, where he found the chief Henyo Ninja singing on all by the sea. Ninja said, Jeju may be called a paradise island, but it is a harsh place with many rocks, much men, and many women. Life is very hard here. Why wouldn't the bitter winter when be cold? We feel cold too. I am a woman, I want to be beautiful, but my face has become rough like a black soap. Yet, I take pride in the raw skin as if it was a badge of honor. If I can hold my friends and die once, I can earn money to support my family. Hyunsa reminisces about his mother's devotion and love with deep love. Jeju and Hanyu are strong and compassionate mothers. Rather than living as a woman, they entrusted themselves to the sea for their family's livelihood. Hanyu are not merely substance neighbors. They were devoted mothers who sacrificed themselves for their families and courageous women who risked their lives for their community. Their lives from a significant part of Jeju's history and culture. And their spirit of sacrifice and love for their families is a precious value we must never forget. They had their force and mass natural forces and overcame their fears to support their families to urge a daily labor. They braved the danger of sophistry and provided for their families through their hard work. Additionally, Kenya lived as members of a community caring for and cooperating with each other. The spirit of Henya teaches us great lessons. Through the stories of the Henya, we must remember and respect their courage and selflessness. Their lives were not just tales of the past, but continue to inspire us today. By remembering their sacrifices and devotion, we too should strive to live lives of dedication to our families and communities. Thank you.